believe that he said this on his deathbed alone with only the, the boy's mother as a witness. Thank you. Exactly. Seizure! This is yeah. theft! It is treason! He's probably gonna get killed. By all accounts. Oh God. Oh God. Which of you here can swear that he died of his own accord? Which of us? Yo. <laughs> Calm down. Yo, this is not good. Oh no. I care not. I will have no Sit part. Down. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, dude. What the fuck? We just got here. Oh shit. If I needed any more reason to fucking Remember hate this guy? And remove your cloak, Sir Kristen. Yes. Oh I my God. Commander Sir Kristen. Yes. Your sword. I will not suffer insults to her grace, the Queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Kristen. You put aside your blade. Oh God. Just leave. Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be reacting to episode 9 of House of the Dragons. We're at episode 9 already. Episode 9, man. And it's been one hell of a journey. It, it has been so short. Like, yeah, these 9 weeks have gone so quick, man. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, like, to see where we started off with the first episode. And, yeah. like, now where we, like, how far we have come with all these characters and with the story. Absolutely. Last week's episode was absolutely heartbreaking. We lost Viserys. Oh. Uh, it was a very emotional episode. Yeah. It had us, uh, you know, at the brink of tears quite a few times. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, I think it was probably one of the best episodes of the season so far. And yeah. And probably one of my favorite Game of Thrones episodes, actually. The way it was directed and the way that it was shot and the emotion yeah. behind it it was so palpable i really yeah. really enjoyed it so i'm really excited to see what they're gonna do with this episode yeah honestly i i i'm just so curious to see what's gonna happen now now that viserys is gone how Oof. is that gonna affect everyone else that and power vacuum <laughs> yeah exactly and like we you know we mentioned this before like in the previous videos where like the, the vultures are circling right oh, yeah it's very much you know like i'm gonna quote Otto on that one you know it is an ugly game it is a bloody game and it's a ruthless one. Yep. And we're just going to see, like, whichever one of these characters is more willing to cross a lot of boundaries and a lot of moral and ethical questions. It's going to be really interesting to see which one of these guys are going to just, like, is it Team Green? Is it Team Black? Like, I, I honestly, I can't wait how the rest of this journey is going to unfold. I agree. I agree. So without further ado, guys, we're going to... Dive right into this episode, <laughs> and hopefully uh, it's going to surprise us. It's already pretty much the semi-finale for the season, right? As, yeah. as, uh, we only have this one and one more episode, so they, this episode is probably going to pack a punch. So, you know. Probably. Guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video, and we'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> the uh, throne is empty, huh? You need, they need to stop pulling on my heartstrings right now. It feels so lonely. It's desolate. This score reminds me a little bit of the Night King score. Yeah, it does. I caught that too. Right? Yeah. Little spies? Yeah. I saw him last night. He told me he wished for Egon to be king. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Not that Aegon, buddy. It is the truth uttered with his own lips. His last words to me and I was the only one to hear it. Uh, <laughs> he's not gonna be able to clarify it, dude. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, one of the worst misunderstandings in Westeros. <laughs> yeah, I know, this is not gonna wow. end well. Here we go. God damn what is it? it? We could not have waited an hour. Was Dawn invaded? <laughs> the king is dead. Oof. Fuck. Right into it. Yeah. We grieve for Viserys, the peaceful, our friend, but he has left us a gift. <sighs> With his last breath, he impressed upon the queen his final wish that his son, Edwin, wow, should succeed yeah. him as Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... This is going to be Send bad. I proceed now with the full assurance of his blessing on our long laid plan. Yes. There is much to be done, as we've previously discussed. Now, there are two among the captains of the City Watch that remain loyal to Damon. Let us replace them. Lord Lannister. The treasury is well in hand. The gold will be divided for safekeeping. 
Let ravens be sent to our allies, Riverrun and Highgarden. Am I to understand that members of the small council have been planning secretly to install my son without me? Yeah, yeah basically. <laughs> wow. There's no need to sully you with darkling schemes. I will not have this. To hear that you are plotting. Yeah. Yeah. He's chosen heir with an imposter. His firstborn son is hardly an imposter. Hundreds of lords and landed knights swore fealty to the prince. Yeah, exactly. Now dead. You heard the Lord Hand, plot or no, the king changed his mind. I am six and seventy years old. I have yeah. known Viserys longer than any who sit at this table. Hell yeah, dude, tell yeah. him. I believe that he said this on his deathbed alone with only the, the boy's mother as a witness. Thank you. Exactly. Seizure! It is yeah. theft! It is treason! He's probably gonna get killed. By all accounts. Oh God. Oh God. Which of you here can swear that he died of his own accord? Which of us? Yo. <laughs> Calm down. Yo, this is not good. Oh no. I care not. I will have no Sit part. Down. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, dude. What the fuck? We just got here. Oh. <laughs> If Shit. I needed any more reason to fucking Hold hate this guy. And remove your cloak, Sir Criston. Yes. Oh I my god. Commander Sir Criston. Yes. Your sword. I will not suffer insults to her grace the queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Criston. You can aside your blade. Oh god. Just leave. This guy's badass. Has it come to this? Lord Commander. Enough. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Let us have Lord Hoosbury removed. No. <sighs> the door remains shut until we finish our business. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. Y'all just gonna finish your meeting while this guy's over there. Copy that. I cannot. They're not pulling any punches with this episode. No. This. I knew it. I knew they were gonna kill this guy. Yeah, I know. Pose on Look me. To yeah. yeah. Bear can not, of course, be allowed to remain free and draw support to her claim. Wow. Yeah, so kill her. Yeah. She and her family will be given the opportunity to publicly swear obeisance to the new king. She will never bend the knee. Nor will Damon, which you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah, not yeah. Damon. Definitely not Damon. He's like, oh, I, I plan on killing Damon. Yeah. That's all right. Damon will take you all down with him. And all here accede to this. Your father is correct, Your Grace. A living challenger invites battle and bloodshed. It is unsavory, yes. But a sacrifice we must make to secure Aegon's succession. And then there is Daemon to consider. The king wouldn't wish for any but unsavory- But the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. Exactly. Right. He loved Thank her, you. I will not have you deny this. And yet... One more word and I'll have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. <sighs> Allison, yeah. all right, Hi, girl. Nice. Okay. See, this is the spark. This that is I the was... Allison we want. Yeah, this right? is the fire I've been waiting for. There has to be a diplomatic way to do Time this. Of the essence. You guys gotta be smarter. This <laughs> just killing people <laughs> off is not. Yeah, yeah, I know. Cause where does it end? Yeah. Now we just need Damon to control himself. Lord Commander Westerling. <laughs> Take your knights to Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. What? Yeah. He's like, I'm not gonna be part of this. Yeah. Just don't get killed, dude. I like this oh, guy. I know, I like this. I recognize no authority but the king's. And until there is one, I have no place here. Hell yeah, dude. Hell oh. yeah, dude. Fuck you, Kristen. <laughs> I hate you. Look at his stupid smug fucking face. Ugh. It is our fate, I think, to crave always what is given to another. Mm. One possesses a thing, the other will take it away. Yes, princess. Okay. Where is Ergon? God knows. Not here. <laughs> He's so cute. Where the hell is he? Oh, they're worried that they're gonna murder Aegon, <laughs> just in case. Oh my God. What's happened? 
You have no idea. The dominoes are starting to fall. Yeah. That's what happened. <laughs> yep. The music today is yeah. very reminiscent of the Night King's very. theme. You're right. She repeated it. Yeah. Beneath the boards. Hey! hey. Badass. I do not want to know what... It's all part of a plan, Aegon huh? They're just trying to get Aegon back as quick as possible. Oh, no. Radice, you gotta get the fuck out of there. They locked her out? What the fuck are they doing? This is giving me the, uh, that episode with the, uh... With the music and the vibe of everybody walking away reminds me of the Great Sept Explosion. <laughs> oh, dude, don't, don't even, don't, please don't remind me. To be fair, though, that was a badass moment for Cersei. Yeah, it was. It was ruthless, man. All these spies are plotting. It's even beyond her at this point. To be found within the castle walls, your grace. Yeah. Your father has sent Sir Eric into the city to find him. So Aegon knows has the advantage. <laughs> He's so badass. I know, I love it. And to you, Sir Kristen, and to your loyalty, Aegon must be found and he must be brought to me. Oh. Yeah. The very fate of the Seven Kingdoms depends on it. Everything you feel for me is your queen. Hey. hey. Oh. All right. I'll come with you. That would not be my desire, Aemond. If anything has happened. Cole needs me, mother. So Eric isn't the only one who knows Aegon's doings. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If the point is to find him as quickly as possible, who's gonna know him better than his brother? Exactly. Dude, look at like his hair and everything. I know, right? Like his whole vibe, like. Good for him. They made him really badass. Like, yeah, the like design just... is very uh, identifiable, you know, yeah. Re very recognizable. Yeah. I like that. And very reminiscent of like younger Damon, like in the beginning yeah. of the first few episodes. Brought me to the street of Silk on my 13th name day. It was his duty as my brother, he said, to ensure I was as educated as he was. <laughs> Even the cloak. <laughs> I know. I love that. That's what I understood him to mean. <laughs> Not up, fella. He said time to get it wet. Every woman is an image of the mother. You once wore your banners to Rhaenyra, you must now pledge them to the <sighs> king. Yeah, that's why they locked Rhaenys out. Yeah, she, they, don't, they know she would say something. Damn. With my house on this matter. You'll not leave this room without declaring your intention. Bro, that's like dictator, <laughs> like yeah. a dictator move. Like, where's the diplomacy? Oh, in there this? he is. I am no oath breaker. Thank you. I will not bend the knee. Anyone else? He will not either. Yeah. Right. I forget his name. The guy that congratulated Rhaenyra. Yeah. Yeah, that's kid. him. Yeah, there, there you that's go. Him. Yeah. House Fell keeps its sworn oath to the princess. Very well. He just wants to know who's going to be against them. It's yeah. a smart move. I mean, I cannot, <laughs> you know. Oh my god. Are they just taking them away to be killed, bro? I hope not, dude. I fucking hope not, dude. Long live the king. <sighs> this is gonna get out of hands. Where's Aegon, dude? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, like, get him this quick. Is... I am worried for Aedes. I know. She has to get out of there. Where's her dragon? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure she could just call her dragon and go. I just... <laughs> Oh. oh, Jesus. Jesus, dude. How old are they? About 10 years, I should say. They have them grow the nails and file the teeth. Ah. 
Prince Egon spends many a night in this place. Do you see now what he is? Yeah. No Egon. way. One of many I'd wager. Holy shit! Wait, what? I really don't think that Aegon is going to be the right choice as king, and I don't see how they don't see that. He doesn't even want to be king, though. No, like, I know. Like, he doesn't want yeah. it. City, ever the good soldier in search of a wastrel who's never taken half an interest in his birthright. Right. Exactly. Like the younger brother who studies history and philosophy, it is I who trains with the sword, who rides exactly. the dragon in the world. Yes. Be... yes. 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 <laughs> I know what it is to toil for what others have freely given. Mm. <laughs> That's a great line. Yeah. We are decent men with no taste for depravity. <laughs> He's welcome to them. I'm next in line to the throne. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. Wow. The writing in this. Yes. Man. Aemon wants to be king, honestly. Wait, wait, where is he going, you think? He's gonna leave. Just bounce. I wonder if he's gonna yeah. go to Dragonstone to warn Rhaenyra. Yeah. A moment of your time, the lords. You'll find no buyers for your words here. <laughs> I don't think that's what she's trying to do, bro. Oh. Rather, I'm sent by one who knows where he is. Okay. I'll tell you. For a price. I will consider your price. Go warn please. Rhaenyra, please. Know, please, for the love of God. Go tell her what's Exit going on. safely. Oh, uh, really, yo? You're not gonna let him? I have no love for the princess. Where were you going then with such urgency? Don't kill him, please. Let the king's justice take him. Wow. Spent many hours with the Queen of Lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no reason those hours cannot, in the end, benefit you. Of I course. knew that, yeah. Two conspirators. Yep. Yeah, what they're gonna do is that well, they need to turn her against Rhaenyra, right? So they yeah. need to come up with a really strong plot. Because she's... She's still decent oh. in the end. Like, she's still rooting for, you know, to do the right thing, at least. Yeah, at least she has a soul. Not like these guys. Yeah. Viserys' funeral. Yeah. It's so unfortunate that he died the night that he did I after know. he said that, because I it's know. just... If he could have lasted a few yeah, more minutes, a few more hours. What are they gonna do to her, man? Why did you lock me out? You gotta yeah. confront this girl, please. I will do you the considerable courtesy of assuming there is a good reason for the outrage of my treatment here this morning. I sincerely regret for the lack of ceremony. And she knows. usurping the throne. It was my husband's yes. dying wish. <gasps> Believe mm -hmm. it or no, it is of no consequence. She knows better. Yeah. I came here to ask your support. <laughs> I must credit you for your boldness. Yes. House yes. Valarian has long allied itself with the Princess Rhaenyra, and what has it gained you? Your daughter dead, alone in Pentos, your son cuckolded. Rhaenyra's heirs are none of yours. Wow. A husband who grasps so heedlessly for the throne, and even he has abandoned you. Gone these six long years to fight a desperate battle, returning grievously, if not mortally wounded, leaving the Lady of Driftmark to chart her course alone. It is a good argument. Yeah, <laughs> She's not wrong. Not fickle. Mm. No, but dear cousin, you, more than any soul alive, understand what I say now. Princess Rhaenys, I loved my husband, but I will speak the truth we both know. You should have been queen. Yeah. Manipulation. I know. It's from you. The Iron Throne was yours by blood and by temperament. Yes, it was. We do not rule, but we may guide the men that do. Gently. <laughs> That's a great line. Yeah. Sure destruction and instead toward peace. Aegon is not the person for that. Peace that you've imprisoned me. Right. Exactly. And yeah. my dragon. If we are overmatched, Rene will be tempted to strike us and war will ensue. Without your dragon, she may be persuaded to negotiate. Where is your dragon? 
for you and your granddaughters to pass on as you see fit. You are wiser than I believed you to be. Yep. Yeah. Alison Tytar. Exactly. She counts the cost to her people. <laughs> in service to men. Your father, your husband, your son. Yeah. You desire not to be free, but to make a window in the wall of your prison. <laughs> wow. Oh. Honestly, I would prefer that over Aegon. Like, if it's not going to be Rhaenyra, then okay, then... Alicent, yeah. Make it Alicent. <laughs> that was a great conversation. That was... You only want a just... window in your prison, <laughs> like, uh, on yourself. That's wow. so true, though. Wow. Because Alicent has never just opened her eyes to the possibility that... Yeah. What if... Like, what if? Ah. The there white worm. You yourself are the mysterious white worm, I take it. Yes. Or are you simply a further peel in this stinking onion? My condolences on the passing of your king. <laughs> He's like, how could you possibly know? Yeah. They know. There you go. He's like, pay her. Yep. <laughs> pay her now. <laughs> Where's the prince? He is safely tucked away. Okay. Tucked away. To the savage use of children in flea bottom. They are forced to fight and wars. Yeah. Your gold cloaks take the bribes given them to look away. Oh. Yeah. Either tolerated or ignored by the crown. I respect that. Okay, what? Well, I look into it. Yeah, good use of your power. When your plots ripen and you install your grandson on the throne. <laughs> I love this. Yes. It was me who put him there. I could have killed him as easily as a wasp on fruit. <laughs> wow. No power, but what the people allow you to take? Dude. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> the lines of this episode. This is fantastic, dude. Holy it's... shit. No way. What? Wait. <laughs> is he hiding? What the fuck? Where is the white worm? She sold you for a price. And why have you paid it? Why? What is he running from? He I just doesn't know. want it? You flee where all the men die, see, can I go? Yeah. Yeah. But he doesn't want it. Clearly. And like he he's... shouldn't, and he shouldn't have it. Oh, what a disaster. Oh my god. They're gonna fight for... Yeah, great. While you guys are bullshitting each other. Oh, is this gonna be Amon versus Amon? <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoever can uh, race to get Aegon back home. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you disappeared. Is our father truly dead? Yes. And they're going to make you king. Oh my god. Is... Oh! Oh no. Crispin, calm down. Let me go! I have no wish to rule, no taste for duty. I'm not suited. At least he knows yeah, it. They're... Like. <laughs> You know. Like. And sail away, never to be found. Damn. It's come to that? He's just. The queen awaits. Kind of sad for him, too. Like, he's not living the life that he wants to live. No, it's not just... at all. Like they said in that previous episode, right? The king gets everything, whether right. he wants it or not. Yeah. You know, he must claim it. Whatever our differences, our hearts remain as one. Oh, our hearts were never one. I see that now. Oh! Peace that you moved about the board. If that is true, then I made you queen of the seven kingdoms. Would you have desired it otherwise? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, she's never known anything else. You impressed upon me to want. Oh, Alison is telling Yo. her dad. The debt you are happy enough to pay. A sacrifice. A sacrifice made for the stability of the realm. 
No king has ever lived that hasn't had to forfeit the lives of a few to protect the many, though I understand your squeamishness. Reluctance to murder is not a weakness. Thank you, Alison. Right. Yeah, that is true. That is very true. Yeah. I have gone. We'll proceed now as I see fit. Damn, Otto. We will send terms to Rhaenyra on Dragonstone. True terms, such that she may accept without shame. If she lives, her allies will mass behind her banners, looking for her return. Then she must not return. My husband would have desired this mercy be shown to his daughter. Your husband? Or you, his daughter's childhood companion? <laughs> wow. Really, Otto? I will be named Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Oh, no. My son will be anointed tomorrow at dawn. The whole of King's Landing must witness his ascent. He will assume authority. There will be no more dithering. My son will take the crown of his namesake, the Conqueror, and carry Blackfire, his sword. Let the people remember the ancient strength of House Targaryen. Uh... You look so much like your mother in certain lights. Rhaenyra is going to come back and fight them with all she has, dude. Like, it's going to be so bad. Uh, this is going to turn ugly. Otto's like, still, yeah, just kill Rhaenyra. Aegon does not want it. Like, th this is going to be in insane. The hour is late, Lord Laris. I found out something you should know. Of course, yeah. Uh, it's a game of spies. That's what it is. Yeah. How do we even know we can trust him? You... Asked yourself, I wonder how it is your father, the hand, found Egon first. Right. Right. Do you think Laris knows about the White Ward? Probably. I would expect him to know. Like the Id identity of who it is? There is a web of spies at work in the Red Keep. Along its yeah. threads travels news. All are doing. Yeah. Your father knows this, but has left it in place. Right. Of course. More than once it has proved advantageous to those willing to feed the weaver. <laughs> and this weaver watches me. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the little spiders. Wait, for real? Waiting. Hell yeah. They are more like her. Even I do not know their number. Okay. I'm trying not to get distracted by his freakiness. To destroy his advantage. It must be taken out at the head. When the queen dies, the bees fly without purpose. Right. <laughs> He's like... Pardon for this. Turn a phrase, your grace. <laughs> I'm like, she's the queen. That's probably I'm a better way to phrase it. Than your expertise. If you wish it. <sighs> it will be done. Oh, no. Well, he will definitely get it done, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, that's... <laughs> oh, my God. Close up for the fans. Uh, <sighs> so it is a foot fetish. <sighs> very uncomfortable. That is very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> He wants the throne. Yeah. I wonder well, what, he... what, what will he do with it? Get out of there. <laughs> I was I'm like so worried for Rady, so I'm like, get out of there right now. Yeah. The fact that they took her dragon is kind of sketch too. What? Yeah. Oh God. With me, princess. Yes! Ugh! Wow. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. They're saving her? Yeah, let's get the fuck oh out of here. God, oh my god, I can I <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wait, did they hang <gasps> You're go no! Oh Wow, dude. Oh Rady was gonna be they just, pissed off when she learns dude, about it. They this. just hung him up like that. Make an example out of him. They know exactly what they're doing. They know ex yeah. It's Otto man, he knows. Wow. Wow. Rhaenyra's gonna be so pissed. I know. Just south of Kingsway. The Blackwater's this way. Just keep going, Radies. Get the hell out of there. Oh, is that the... The is queen... The, the queen's head... The queen, like, the head of the spies? 
probably. Oh, I won't leave my lees. If I could get to the dragon pit, then... No. He'll expect you there, princess. You won't get past the gates. No, come. You must make for the riverfront and find a ship. Before they know you've gone. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my god. Dude, this is so bad already. It just this started. Is really bad, dude. Oh my god, this is so claustrophobic. They're hurting them like sheep. Have the decency to look grateful. Do you know what's been done to give you this day? He did not want it. And my father never wanted this. As much. He had 20 years to name the heir. He never did. Steadfastly, he upheld the nearest claim. He changed his mind. Exactly. <laughs> he could have, but he never did. He, he knows. He knows. Yeah. And yet, with his final breath, he whispered to me that you should take his place for the throne. She's not lying either. It's just a misunderstanding. She misunderstood dude. it, yeah. Ugh. Oh, dude. Rhaenyra's gonna be pissed. <laughs> wow. Your grandfather, the Hand, will try to impress on you that Rhaenyra should be put to the sword. You must reject this council. You must not rule with cruelty and callousness. For all her faults, she is your sister, your, your father's daughter. Do you love me? You imbecile. <laughs> Again, another episode where it feels like the clock ticking. Yeah, something is going yeah. on, you know, it's like yeah. something is building up here. It feels like the I mean, walls are closing in on us. We know? know what it's gonna lead to, like the, the war, but still, it's just the way it feels, yeah. the way it's shot, it's fantastic. Of King's Landing. Jesus. Today is the saddest of days. Our beloved king, Viserys the Peaceful, is dead. But it is also the most joyous of days. Yeah. For as his spirit left us, he whispered his final wish that his firstborn son, Aegon, should succeed him. I don't know about that. <sighs> He's here. Oh, dude. Yep. Oh, I like his, uh... Yeah. Wow, what a costume. Yeah, the music is badass. I know. I fucking feel bad for this kid too. I know. Even though I hated him last episode, but I just feel bad for somebody that does it not want to live yeah. this life, being forced to live this life. Everybody, because of Otto, really. Yeah. It's funny because this feels more like his walk towards the gallows. Yeah. Why do I feel like he's going to do something terrible with that dagger? Yeah. I don't know. I got that feeling too. You know, something always happens during ceremonies in yeah, uh, House of the Dragon so far. So I'm just like, I'm just like, like what is going to happen here? Any type of ceremony, doesn't matter. It's always bad things happen. This is the episode I was asking for, guys. Like the High Towers perspective yeah. and the Greens perspective, the POV. An right. episode dedicated to them. Here we Only got it. Only them. Yeah. Here we have it. Is someone going to interrupt the crowding? And speaking of becoming king, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you want to help us solidify our claim to the throne on this YouTube throne whole realm situation, you know, just hit subscribe, man. Just You're already it. here. It's almost the end of the episode, the reaction yeah. anyway. Just yeah. scroll, scroll just, down. Just You're probably reading it. comments at this point because it's, you know, it's the slow part of the episode. So just, <laughs> just hit subscribe, man. We got just you. Just do it. Just do it. You know you want to. Yeah, just, you know, you know you want to. Just click it. Just slice, do it. Up, slice up that subscribe button right now. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Someone on Dragonback? <laughs> May the warrior give him courage. May the father defend him in his need. <laughs> Gonna go to the dragon pit? Lift yeah. Yeah. Go, 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 ready. Hurry the fuck up, hurry the fuck up. Hell yeah, she's going to get the dra her dragon. It's so quiet, dude. I know, dude. It's like I'm holding my breath alongside everyone. The crown of the conqueror. Passed down through generations. Uh, Aegon the Conqueror number... What? <laughs> oh, that frame rate change is giving me anxiety. <laughs> Aegon is like, you do not deserve that. Yeah. Let the Seven bear witness. Aegon Targaryen is the true heir to the Iron Throne. 
Yeah. <sighs> people are gonna talk whether Radira, whether it was Radira or him. Like people were gonna right. talk. Like it's yeah. There's always something to sacrifice. Oh, I like his look though. But yeah. He's so. Okay, now that I'm king, kill all these people that's made my life miserable. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Egg on the king. Oh my God. <sighs> it's like that Homelander meme. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh. Oh boy. Yeah. He is the king now. Oh God. was gonna end already. I know. What the oh, fuck? Oh shit. Show Yo, them ready. <laughs> oh. Damn. Yeah. Dude. It started. It started. That's Holy a badass God. fucking dragon, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at those spikes. Yo, dude, it looks so sick. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 dude. Dude, I love this woman. Yes. Oh my oh god, my the god. armor. Jesus Christ. Yes. She looks so badass. Dude, I fucking love this woman. Open the door. <laughs> Hold the doors. Hold the doors. Hold the doors. <laughs> Why are they trying to close it? <laughs> oh shit. Right then and there. She's gonna give them mercy, Dude, huh? Look at that image, bro. Dude. That is a warning shot. Yeah. That is a warning shot. <laughs> Go. Yeah. yeah. You're lucky. She's a better person. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> she, she had it right the there. Better person. She had it right there. I know. Yeah. Also, can we talk about that Allison was like ready to sacrifice herself for her son? Wow. Wow. Jesus wow. Christ. I, the thing is, like, this episode was like too slow. I'm like, something, some crazy ass shit is gonna happen at the end. Dude. There's no way that we're gonna leave it like that. Damn, my girl just broke her dragon out. Wow. Holy uh, shit. What dude. a fucking episode, dude. Um, Damn. It, it was a bit slower. I feel like it, it was as slow as the, as the last week's one, but without the emotion. It was more of the plotting, you know? Yeah. More of the Game of Thrones. Yeah, you know? exactly. It was Which significantly more political, right? Yeah. The Game of Spies. That's what it was. Game of Spies. Yeah, a lot of, uh, <laughs> you know, the inside, the the network that's working right under, you right. know, the Red Keep. I thought that was, uh, is it going to be interesting? Because whoever holds yeah. that knowledge really is whoever holds the actual power, right? Like the White Worm yeah. said, I could have had Aegon killed if I wanted to, you know? Right. Because uh, yeah. they're the true powerful ones. People yeah. like Laris, people like the White Warp, they're the real, the people that are, you know, moving the tides in one direction yeah. or the other, which I think is very interesting. It's never about the people actually in power. Right. It's always about... The people, like the you know, puppeteers, the right? The puppeteers, Yeah, man. the ones that are wow. pulling the strings. And it's, it's actually really funny that you brought that up. Um, it just kind of gives me a little bit of a callback to um, that really awesome moment between Cersei and Littlefinger, <laughs> where he was like, you know, and he's being all like, knowledge is power, and she's yeah. like, power is power. Yeah. So I think that there's a really interesting debate between the two, right? Because at the end yeah. of the day, you can play like, like, it's like Otto can play all the games that he wants at the end of the day. Whoever's Raise got the dragon. The fucking dragon. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, 
that was very much like the the power. Yeah, this is power the, that's exactly the collision of what they're talking about. I love that you pointed that out. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And just for Nira, uh, sorry, Radis. Yeah. As soon as I saw Radis, like looking around, I'm like, yeah. please go get your dragon. Please go get I your know. dragon. And <laughs> and the thing is, the way the they're so smart and how they direct this, because the way the camera was slowly panning it, I'm like, okay, it's gonna dip to black. Right. And then yeah. Credits are gonna roll. That's it. Yeah. And I was already, like, going to give my closing, you know, statements for the episode. <laughs> the closing and all argument. of a sudden, like, there's this explosion. I'm like, it reminded me, again, of, right. the, of the explosion of the Great Sept, right? Yeah. Uh, that was a good catch, by the way. You called that earlier on. Yeah, I was nice. like, this whole episode is giving me that vibe. Like, all the people going somewhere. I was like, something yeah. is going to happen in yeah. this ceremony. And sure enough, there's this, granted, not as big of an explosion as the Great Sept, but <laughs> an explosion... That None kills less. probably yeah. a few of the supporters for the new king. Damn. And after this explosion of debris and smoke, you know, out comes Melise and yeah. Radice. Looking like absolute badasses. They're like, <gasps> finally, oh I love, God. I'm liking Radice a lot. Yeah, because me too. She has this grace to her. Yeah. And she doesn't really show her true colors, but it's shown time and time again that she has... She has what it takes to yeah. fight. Yeah. It's just that she chooses not to. Yeah. And I love the little warning shot, like, look at how she yeah. looked with the armor and her yeah. dragon. She was right there, man. She yeah. could have just said, Trakars. Yeah. One word. One word. Could have... Annihilated all of them. Like, what, what are they, they going to do? do? What are they going to do? They, maybe get her killed? Sure. But she just avoided this whole situation, right? Yeah. She could have done it. She could have done, done, done it. But she didn't. It speaks yeah. volumes of her strength of character. Like, uh, again, like, you know, we love the drama. We love the juiciness, you know, like. I feel like it's, but, it's fair game now because yeah. Allison didn't get Radira killed or didn't plot for Radira to get killed. She yeah. tried to defend Radira Redi- uh, in a way yes. or, or protect her from yes. that outcome. And Radis did the same. So I feel like it's fair game. It's right. like, you know, you right. spared her. I spare you. Right. Ca- kind of thing. Uh, and hopefully now Radies is going straight to Driftmark. Uh, no, sorry, straight to Dragonstone, Dragonstone to go warn Rhaenyra about what's happening. And I feel like because yeah, Rhaenyra probably doesn't even know that her father oh, died. They like have they no have idea. no idea what the hell's been going on. And well, it's like I mean, I listen. I got I gotta give it to Otto and Alicent. <laughs> like they 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 usurped the shit out of that throne. Yeah, like they really did. They wasted no time. No ceremony. Like the way they did it, you yeah. know that they know that they're not right. You know, what What are you hiding? You know, you could have done it in a very ceremonial, very diplomatic way. But the way they did it, you know, they're hiding some shit. Like, yeah. you just know. You can tell. And now Rhaenyra is going to be like, absolutely. Like, there's no way you can tell me that you didn't yeah. intend for this to happen this way. There's no way you yeah. can tell me that you didn't wait for me to leave. My father right. died. I'm, I'm sure right. that she's going to think that my father got killed, basically. Yeah, I was going to say. That's what she's going to think. That's what I would think. Shit. That's what I would think, You know, too. the day yeah. after I leave, my father dies. And, right. and you say that he said that he made Aegon, you know, the right. heir on his very last day, really. Right. And with only one witness. It's it's going to look very bad for, for Team Greed, from yeah. Team Black's perspective. Yeah. And Team Green is not helping either with the whole usurping the throne either. Yeah. So it just looks like very bad as well. Yeah. So it's going to be like this two massive, massive misunderstanding that yeah. do have some basis to them, but they're not the full story. Now yeah. I'm starting to like how the writing is getting this this done because Allison is not the bad guy either. No. Shit, Aegon, for the most part, aside from his... Uh, Undo, like whatever he does on his yes, spare time. Yes, this unsavory. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, Aeon is also a victim here. He does not want to be king, so I can only assume that someone that does not want to be king is definitely going to use that power for no good. You know. Yeah, it's actually interesting that you mentioned that because um, once he heard like the um, stealing the line from Star Wars here. Once he heard like the thunderous applause. Then that's when he started raising his sword, and I'm like, oh, is that the lust for power that just came out? Very, yeah. um, you know, traditional. Because, like, he's just, he's he's got the Targaryen and the Hightower, so, like, that's just a whole lot of lust for power and control, yeah, right? Yeah, a lot of ego, too, um, there. Yeah, so, yeah. 
you know, it's going to be interesting if he does in the end, like, want the throne. He's like, actually, I changed my mind. It's going to be interesting to see that. I think he he will definitely like the power that comes with the throne. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, who who wouldn't, you know? I, mean, I feel like in that in that time, in that world, it makes sense to have that, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> I wonder how do that, whatever you want, whenever you want to. What I'm very excited to see is how the dynamic between Aemon and Aegon is going to change. Right. As brothers. Yeah. Because... Because it's, it's interesting because, you know, Aemon, um, Aemon has been relatively quiet. Like, he hasn't been, yeah. like, very vocal about probably had, like, six wanting lines the in throne. Total. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like he, like, he hasn't been, like, extremely vocal about his desire for the throne or anything like that. You yeah. know, we when we were watching him, clearly he's very smart. Clearly he's educated. Clearly he's also a very skilled fighter. So it's like, yeah. you know... This guy hit the trifecta. Like, to me, like, that is the more obvious choice than Aegon. Mm -hmm. And it's also very interesting to actually hear him say that he actually wanted the throne. Yeah, it's interesting because we didn't even have... A, well, I, I mean, it's just good to hear the confirmation. Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, I would have taken on this responsibility. Yeah. Why choose Aegon? And the yeah. only reason I can assume, aside from him being the first... You know, firstborn, right. I guess, between Alice and, and uh, Viserys, but is also the fact that his name is Aegon, right? So it's right. it's like almost like they're just trying to fill in this prophecy, right. and you know, it, it's just that like they don't even know if it's gonna be come true or it's right. still a prophecy, right? Yeah, but, but so it's they're putting like a lot of they're yeah. putting a lot of their chips on just that, yeah, on a blind prophecy that they don't even know, you know, how it might come into play which we know right. how it comes into play in the end right. and it has nothing to do with this or i mean <laughs> in part it does kind but of, not yeah. not as much as these people think for what what's going on right now you know like yeah. they're already talking about you know the threat that that's beyond the, the wall and whatnot and that's like right. not, not there yet you know so right. i don't know it's interesting to see how how the tides are gonna turning. turn <laughs> yeah for wow. sure. Yeah. Very, uh, very interesting, too, for how uh, next episode, hopefully we get to see all Black's perspective. Because uh, right. this was the episode that I was really waiting for. Like I said, we got an episode yeah. with all the Team Green's perspective. Um, I really liked Allison. For all those people that think out there that we were hating on Team Green, I actually... Yeah, let's just this clarify episode, that. Yeah, we, we don't hate Team Green, all right? Just because we're, we are mostly Team Black yeah. does not mean we hate the opposing team. In fact, we actually encourage the debate. Yeah. Not an argument. A debate. There's a yep. difference there yes. in the comment <laughs> section, guys. Um, I actually liked how they portrayed uh, Allison in this episode and how she's really trying to do the right thing, which yeah. really um, plucks her out of the villain role and puts her in a separate, you know, area. Whereas, like, oh, you're finally getting it and you're finally trying to get out of your father's grasp and you're yeah. becoming your own person. Yeah. I want to see more of that, Allison. Yes. And then at 100%. the same time, Otto's like, oh shit, mm -hmm. I'm losing grasp on my daughter, but yeah. I don't need her anymore because my grandson is a king. Right. So I'm going to assume that that dynamic is going to shift from Otto giving all of his love and attention to Allison, now shifting that to Aegon. Well, right now, the way that I see it, Aegon is just going to be the rope in a tug of war between Allison and Otto. Um, and it's just going to be like, who, who, whoever who, can yeah. offer Aegon what he wants the most yeah. is going to be the one that he's going to be leaning towards. Um, Aegon, I do feel, is very easy to manipulate. He's He seems significantly more vulnerable uh, to manipulation than Aemon does. Yeah. Um, Aemon, Aemon is too smart. Yeah, he's very smart. He's also much more, like, centered in his own self. Like, clearly Aegon is going through, like, a lot of, like, doubt and, like, you know, the self-hatred and, and, like, all this turmoil. Um, he's not is, stable. Is not, no, he's just, definitely not stable. You know, and, like, Aemon, Aemon is, is the one, not like that at all. Yeah, he's the one that studied. He's the one yeah. that prepared fighting. Aemon is basically the the perfect candidate. Yeah. It's so... He is. He's the clear candidate. You know, it's so unfortunate because I, I would really want to see what he would do with the throne. Like, this kid right. is a kid that studied the history books, right. that's prepared for battle, that has the biggest dragon. Honestly... Yeah. I wouldn't be mad if he became king. I, I, I again, wouldn't be mad either. Like, like, I we'll, we'll have to see how this whole situation unfolds. Um, this definitely put the chips in place for next, you know, next week's episode, which will right. be the finale. Um... 
and I guess we'll see how Team Black takes in this information. But I can already see the beginning. This this was it. This was the first move. Yeah. You know, Rainey's escaping. Right. They're gonna have to prepare. Oh, there. I think I'm sure Team Black will handle it like very calm. I can already very see. Very mature. Ramira you know, and Damon <laughs> arriving next episode on Dragonback. <laughs> Arriving on Dragonback and just being like, what's up, bro? What's up, you know, bro? <laughs> we have Cyrax and, and Carax is here ready, ready to go. And yeah. it's just going to be so ugly. And Eamon is going to come out with Vagar. He's going to be like, what's up? You know? You want to meet on Dragon? <laughs> and then Rainy's just going to be like, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be literally the, the dance of the dragons. Like, yeah. it's 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 insane. I, I like that how they've been setting up the dragons and yeah. the different families and how the power play because you can already see the freaking dynamic dude it's yeah, like dude. Eamon has the biggest one I feel like it's going to take like three dragons to take on De like Eamon alone right um, although I know Caraxes is pretty pretty uh, you know what would be the word uh, experienced in battle and yeah. it's a pretty dangerous dragon to have and obviously the rider is even more dangerous than Eamon himself yeah. uh, I think that goes hand in hand but I, it's going to be very interesting to see how these dragons you know how they interact with each other when it comes to uh, oh, fighting each other dude. right thank you guys so much for clicking on this video we really appreciate all the support especially last week was insane guys we had like 30,000 yeah. something views we reached 3k we reached 3k and which was our mark so thank you so much for yeah. subscribing guys and thank you for commenting and liking when you like the content it really helps yeah. us get out there to even more people that could be interesting and interested in our content and it helps us out a ton so thank you for right. doing your part we're really happy to to hear and learn that you guys are also enjoying the content it means the world to us yeah. and um yeah thank you so much for clicking and we'll see you guys next week take care see ya